How does it feel to be world champion now? It's really, I mean, I don't think it's not sunk in. I don't think it will until next year, until we start competing again. And you know, you're in amongst all the all the other guys, all the other competitors, and the rallies, and everybody involved around about it. I've gained a lot of experience this year. Uh, there is some pressure off in that I've won the championship, but uh, who knows what circumstances we're going to come up against next year. So uh, it's not going to be plain sailing. And if Colin's success on the world scene wasn't enough, younger brother Alistair was tackling the British Championship. But there was snow on the Col de Turini for the nighttime section, and Carlos clocked up his second Monty win. And Colin McRae's Subaru crashed out. Sweden in February, minus 20 degrees, and disaster for Subaru. All three retired with engine problems, giving a clean sweep for Mitsubishi, who ran to team orders. Ericsson won, Mackinnon second. After victory for Carlos Sainz in Portugal, it looked to be Ford's turn and Belgium's Bruno Thierry looked set for his first World Championship win in Corsica. But it was not to be. For having led for the entire rally and with just two stages to go, Thierry was cruelly robbed by a broken wheel bearing, handing victory to Didier Oriol's Toyota. Tommy Mackinnon in the Mitsubishi led in New Zealand before crashing out of the event and handing the lead to Britain's Colin McRae. The young Scot drove magnificently, beating all comers by a full 35 seconds on one stage alone. It was a hat-trick of wins for McRae and co-driver Derek Ringer in New Zealand. Rally Australia is Juha Kankinen's favourite event, but not this year. The pin was lucky to keep going after this incident, and he finished third. Kenneth Erickson got his second win of the year on this fast forest event, although he was neck and neck with McRae for much of the time, eventually beating him by just 19 seconds. Ericsson clinks the Asia-Pacific Championship here. Toyota set the pace on the Catalonia rally, and Kankonen's pace was electrifying until he left the road. The rally world was stunned when Toyota were excluded from this event and banned from rallying for 12 months for cheating. After Kankonen's demise, Colin McRae led brilliantly until Subaru's controversial attempt to apply team orders to enable local boy Carlos Sainz to win. McRae was incensed and initially disobeyed the team orders, but eventually succumbed by clocking in a minute late at the finish. The face says it all. Mackinnon retires from the lead of the RAC rally. With Ericsson also out, the rally was about just two men, Colin McRae and Carlos Sainz. McRae drove brilliantly, despite a couple of setbacks, and Sainz just couldn't keep up with his rival for the Drivers' Championship. Record crowds literally willed McRae to win the rally for the second time and become the youngest ever world champion.